it all starts in the soil. Hey guys, Mike D here, the Compost Kid. Today we're just going to talk about some basics of our little friends, the worms. So let's get squiggly wiggly. All right, so our friends, the worms, really, really simple little creatures. I've been teaching workshops and in classrooms and stuff for the last couple years, and it's hilarious. The little girls are right into it. The little boys, ah, I'm freaking out. So there's nothing to freak about. Let's look. Our simple little creatures here, okay? Our little worm friends, okay? They have no eyes. They have no nose. Okay, they have, they're covered in little tiny hairs called cilia, that's how they help move. And uh, did you know that worms are actually hermaphrodites? What's a hermaphrodite, Mike? Well, hermaphrodite means that they have male and female parts. So think about it. Things in nature, their main purpose is to breed. So if you're cruising through the dark, in the dark soil, you got no eyes, if you bump into another worm, you want to take full advantage of that. So. It's just a neat par par part of being uh, part of the natural system, right? So, another neat thing is they don't have teeth. They have what's called a gizzard. So very similar to like a chicken. So they pull in their food items and they crush it up in this strong muscle, also using grit from sand and silt and clay and stuff like that, that they've been able to get in there and crush that stuff up and then they swallow it. Why is that important? Well, there's also bacteria in their system that they're reproducing and making all these different kinds of microbes that are coming out the back end. When there's research that's showing that they're taking in stuff like E. coli, salmonella, and completely eradicating it. That's crazy, okay? So really, really important stuff that they're doing. And chatting with some of these researchers, they have no idea how they're doing some of this stuff or why they have certain things. Like for example, they have five hearts. And they need all five to run. They can't run on four or they can't run on three. They need all five. So the worm, very simple on the outside, but super complex on the inside. So if we take care of our worm friends, they're going to help take care of us too. So let's squiggle wiggle out of here and we'll see you on the next video. Check you later. Yo, I'm recording things here.